<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow League of Legends lovers, welcome back. It is your host, the greatest ADC in the world, and the best League player ever. The most knowledgeable, as always, Chris Allen, me, myself, and I. Today, we just got hot dropped by Riot Games themselves. I, I, I don't know why my YouTube looks like this, and I really don't like it, but... They dropped us a new dev update. I really like these dev updates. I think these dev updates are amazing. I really like going over them. And I have no clue what they're going to talk about. But it looks like from the title, they're talking about gameplay, Vanguard, and more. So to talk a little bit about gameplay, ADC sucks ass. As the ADC main, I gotta say how it is. ADC sucks dick. It's a joke what they did to AD with the new season. They barely did anything. And then they had to buff stuff again. Uh, the one item we got, they buffed, and uh, AD is still really terrible. Lethality is running rampant. Hopefully they address that. Yeah, I think it's being abused not only by assassins, but mostly by ADs. And most of the ADs that are good are either people who go on hit, because that's the only thing that got actually support that was supposed to be for ADs. And lethality is broken because it no longer is reduced at the beginning. And that's also the other ADs that are doing really good. So crit ADs are basically kind of in the dumpster. They're still there, but... They're not that good. And they're going to talk about their anti-cheat. Because people are probably scared, even though it's been in Valorant for a while now. So, let's see what they're going to talk about. Hopefully it's something new. Hopefully they say something about the Skarner rework. But let's see. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy, a.k.a. Hi, Jeremy. Oh, and I I'm thought Pew, he was leaving. AKA Pew Pew Lasers. Pew Pew. You might notice that Meddler isn't with us today. There's a Meddler that and was leaving. And he's out getting married. Oh. So congratulations to the happy couple. Yo, good. Yo, look at him in the background. What is that? Not invited to the wedding. Now, wow, is Thursday, they're only coworkers. 15th, so anything that happens after that date won't be covered. Okay, today. so this is a wild. We really hope you've enjoyed the start of season 2024 so far. Yeah, it's I. We'll I like Frox the new on, maps. Here to talk about some learnings and what we're doing next. Oh yeah, Frox after that, on. Oh, we'll yeah. be back to give you some updates on Vanguard. Oh boy. The new co-op versus AI bots and a few oh? other topics. Hey, Beginner. I'm Matthew Long Harrison, aka Riot Froxon, okay. a gameplay designer in League. All right, Last year, you're the one who makes these terrible. And shift those changes to line up with the start of the new ranked season. This I actually January. think that's really good. Not that's only did really it give change. you all some additional time to hit your ranked goals, but it also made the beginning of the year a more exciting time to play League. Kind of. We've seen some awesome moments with the new changes. Uh huh. We're also happy with the state of gameplay balance. Yeah. Okay. Balance. Let me just stop him right here. They they always say something along these lines, and I always point it out. Right. Oh, we like what we did, but we feel like there could be some improvement. It's good, but it's not great. It's not perfect. We could still improve, but we like what we did. Ability and the new objectives. Although we've seen a few especially funny bugs come up. What is the funny bugs? We also feel that good about the current like state of champion balance, game pacing and snowballing, and the new void objectives, which are I love the new void objectives. The grubbies are my favorite thing ever. That said, that actually makes top important. Oh, look, there they One go. Of our big there they go. They didn't do it perfectly, items to champions, as always, by which is fair. The but... amount of haste and, stats that items provide. and then they gave it back. We also wanted to make items more satisfying for damage. They literally classes, buffed up all the by haste. removing less desired stats, like health. But making these changes <laughs> no one cares in about health. And was exacerbated by overtuned damage items like Blood Song and Storm Surge. Yeah, We've and lethality being forces, rampant. But we're continuing to make adjustments. What about lethality? After the durability update. Okay. We'll talk more in depth about the MMR system in a future dev update. Okay, so this but this one is pretty to short too. Seating of new players as well as negative people LPs, working in the background. Which are two topics we've seen a lot of recently. Wait, what was the other topic? Fuck, actually. The end of last that. season, roughly Wait, half fuck, of... fuck, fuck, fuck. What did they say? But I specifically wanted to address the seating of new players as well as negative LP games. Oh, negative LP game. Okay, so I'll say this. I've officially hit Elo Hell. I think I'm like stuck in at least in solo duo. Ironically enough, I'm having I'm having better um progress and flex. Believe it or not, in flex I'm like almost mid emerald, and I actually gain good LP there. In solo duo, I gain less than I lose. I lose more than I gain when I win. It's it's terrible. Like it's tragic. Which are two topics we've seen a lot of recently. I thought they fixed the this end of shit. Last Roughly half of Emerald players were in prolonged states of negative LP. Me, games, me. This increasing to 85% in most Jesus months. Christ. With the changes this season, though, we've reduced this to 5%. Oh, thank God. I don't feel Emerald, it. Whose ranks fluctuate a lot. There's always going to be some periods of negative LP. Oh, games I'm in that right time. now. Short periods. Yeah, right. We're to minimize it by adjusting those gains and losses. Thank God. Which make climbs more consistent. Hopefully. Finally, 
we've fixed most of the bugs with some legitimate new players erroneously placing in gold or plat. That's a We're bug. We're still trying to improve <laughs> accuracy with these placements and continuing our work. Yeah, you should not be placing gold unless you're like. I think gold right. should be the max you're placed Overall, if you're really good. We're really excited at how everything is shaping like up. Top right of gold and the gameplay changes this year. Yeah, we, they we'll like what they did. Cool. And make adjustments as you continue your climb. Nice. So I'll hand things over to Pew and Jeremy for the rest of the updates. What is this? This know, is like this feels like nonsense. Vanguard would be coming to lead. This is all about we just ranked and Vanguard. Where's Skarner? Vanguard is a big change. So it's important for us to minimize the impact it could have on your ability to play Leap. Yeah, Our version of and Vanguard we're scared it's going to steal our information. Target the cheaters, scripters, and bots we see in League of Legends. Thank God, there's some UAV people in ranked. That will help us learn more about how it's impacting players before we roll out to all the regions. So we'll start with one region first. We'll closely monitor Are they going to say which region is? Because I heard Vanguard this and line. they didn't specify so we'll anything. we evaluating how Vanguard runs in that region. What region? We'll experiencing it before our targeted what fucking region? <laughs> We'll be sure to keep you all updated on any adjustments we make and how it's going. Now let's Bro, talk about what bugs. fucking After region? After you all beat them up on PBE, they went away for a little bit for some TLC and adjustments, but they're ready to return once again. Wait, what the is new intro, oh, bots. Beginner, oh. and intermediate bots? Man, does this really much. matter, bro? You get your feedback once again, so please read more about them in a dev blog that's out right now. All right. Oh boy. We also wanted to give you a rundown on the upcoming prestige skins. Oh. After Evelyn and Kale get their prestige skins, Kale. it will be Yumi and Leona. Coming in July. We also have the next mythic theme. Crystallis Leona has too many skins. Coming in March. Wait, Crystallis what? Of the Crystallis in July. We also have... Indominus? What the fuck is this shit? This sounds like the stupid thing from fucking Jurassic World. The Indo... Or, yeah, J Jurassic World, I think it is. It's like the Indominus Rex. The next mythic theme. Crystallis Like what? It's coming in March. This is a continuation of the Crystallis Modus theme. Which you can read all about in today's dev blog. Oh. So Kha'Zix, Zerath, and Nautilus will be receiving skins this time around. Really? Kha'Zix leaping out. Okay. Next. You know, I don't know how much I like the Crystallis skins. I'm gonna be honest. Like these skins really just look like offshoot ranked rewards. I will be straight up honest with people. Like what I hoped that they did. Now again, th this could be a mixed bag, right? Some people might love this. Some people might hate this. I wish for these fucking skins right here, the Crystallis whatever fucking skins, that instead of doing Crystallis whatever, because it's all crystal themed, I guess, which again looks very similar to rank theme, I wish they just did like a different theme each time for Mythic Essence. I don't know why they do this crystal bullshit. Like, is anyone excited for this theme? I mean, it's all right. Like, it's not terrible. But it's like, bro, I'd like to have just a huge different collection of different themes. Like, I don't like how it's the same thing over and over again. And it's good if you like the theme. Like, if you like themes, if you like the continuing theme, great. I would have liked more variety with Mythic Essence. I think Mythic Essence should give you more variety. These things just look kind of like whatever to me, honestly. In March. All right. That's I like it the people they updates. chose, though. Be sure to check out the dev vlogs. And before we see you next time, there might be a couple surprises in April. Oh, April Fools. Do you like nachos? Nachos. Like, I love nachos. I like There's nachos, too. Cheese. Choo choo! All aboard the nacho train. Come on. All the right. The fuck does Thanks this so much, even everyone. mean? We'll see you next time. What the fuck was that even a teaser for? All right, let me let me see something. Do they have the dev blogs here? They do. Let me let me check this out. Okay, new bot AI. Oh my, coming fourteen point six. Whoop de doo. I'm gonna go over that in patches probably. So PBE learnings. Uh, da, 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 fantastic player feed. There's bugs. Cool. Last cone honey fruit. So they added in more stuff that wasn't there before that they tell you about because you'd be like, what the hell? Even though if you go to these things, they're pretty self-explanatory. If you have a brain and you see what it does, like, oh, the blast cone pushes me back and it's called blast cone. It's not a rocket science thing, but okay, cool. Uh, how intro and beginner bots feel, many performance updates, what does this mean for new players? So it should feel better, cool. Bots can now jungle, rotate, take map, ob map objectives. See, I wonder when they're going to introduce, like, chat GPT into the bots. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, where do I report bugs? No one cares. So what's next? Uh, they're improving it. That's it. Wow, there's a lot of rioters who work on this. Holy shit. Damn. What the fuck? All right, well, um, is that the only thing? I guess that's the only thing, huh? Yeah, this was fucking useless. I I kind of regret reacting to this, but hey, news is news, right? Anyway, this was dumb. They haven't fixed AD. They're not going to fix AD. They're not going to address lethality. It is what it is. I hope everyone enjoyed. Ooh.
please watch my Twitch TV says Technic channel live. You can ask my opinion. You can interact with me. You can watch me play games while I ignore chat sometimes. Eee. Hope everyone enjoyed.